Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be storing photo cards. This part video is just BTS, so let's just go right into it. Okay, so in this binder, uh, this will be probably the last time we're seeing this binder in its entirety because I do have plans on moving this into a smaller binder um, that you will see soon. So we're gonna be storing some tour cards and some larger cards that Actually, none of these are tour cards. Some larger cards. <laughs> okay, let's go right to... Honestly, we'll just go right to the back of the binder. Because that's where everything is. Alrighty, so... In here, we're going to redo this page, so... Let's do that. Just some readjusting. Uh, so this is basically going to be for the merch box cards. So I have made a little bit of progress. I'm almost, actually I am complete with Jimin's. I just need, uh... wait, no I am. Yeah, I'm complete with Jimin. Okay, so this is all I'm collecting for Merchbox for um, the first few rounds that they did. Not few. There were like several. This is all I'm collecting because I wanted to be a little bit more picky with like what I'm collecting and I really don't like the non-selfies and the horizontal cards. We have this one. I don't remember the numbers, so I'm not even going to try, but we have this one. This one, which has been the hardest out of all of them. I don't know why this was the hardest. Not necessarily Jimin, but JK's. I like have struggled the most with this one. I have this one and this one on the way for JK. So the only one for JK I'm missing is this one. Jimin was super easy to collect for these. Like, I'm I'm doing it more this way so that the glare isn't on it. But this one is just the hardest. So yeah, those are what we're going to put here now. So for JK, I already have his equivalent for this one. Oops. And then I think, well, this was new. You hadn't seen this before. Um, this one is the only, like I said, the only one I'm missing. So hopefully I'll get it soon. I I just don't know why people are one overpricing it and two why it's so hard to find like all the other members are super easy to find but for some reason jk is just nowhere to exist okay so that's gonna be this page and um these will all be changing because uh when i get my new binder these will all be facing uh the correct orientation and they will no longer be in eight pockets. So I'm kind of excited for that because I'm so done with like having to put vertical cards in horizontal sleeves. And then I need to put, I'm going to need a new page, but because I'm moving this binder soon, I don't really care to get a new page. So I might just put these on the back of cards for now because these are my artist made ones and my vegas hotel ones so the vegas hotel i had jimin and i kind of was like i'm giving up on jk but i did find jk for a decent price and he is beat up um i think i showed him in my haul so you probably have seen it or if this comes out before the haul then you wouldn't have seen it but he does have some damage right here which did help uh lower the price but it's really not like if he's far away you can't see it at all so i didn't care um so yeah, these are the Vegas hotels, and I wasn't getting the Busan Hotel, because he's like, these were, <laughs> this was enough. Um, and then they are just made, so I just have to find a place for these. Good enough for now, because when we get that new binder, they will look so good. That is it for this binder, so we can move on to chapter two. Alrighty, we are in the chapter two binder. So first we have Hobie's vinyl PC. Look how cute! So happy to have it. Like, he's just... Look at him. 
think it is. He's so cute. And this is the back. Alrighty. So he's going to go right in the middle. Then that completes the first page. And then I am also going to make a cover just so it's not uh, just cards like right in your face when you open this. Um, and then we have face. So we are done the main things for face. We just had to add three more things. And um, I do have some ideas. This is hollow. Um, you can't really tell, but this is hollow. I think because I have concepts on the outside with something in the middle that's different, I think I like the concept being in the middle for this one, even though, like, I think that balances well. This goes in the middle no matter what. Um, and then you can either do this on this side and this here which then lines these up. Or do we catty corner those? And then like that. I think I like the catty corner better, so let's do that. Face is complete officially. One of my thoughts for face, even though I said I'm complete, is I really, really, really want to broadcast. I'm going to attempt to get that and then if I do, um, I'm going to put my two fan-made cards on the other side of them. So then it'll be a row three. So here is my D-Day stuff. I have this for D-Day. This is like my favorite. I did attend D-Day. Um, and I absolutely loved the concert. It was so, so good. I went to three concerts pretty much in a row, but not like boom 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 but they were like super, super close so i went to one concert and then i went to yoongi and then the following week i went to taylor swift and i have so much pcd from yoongi only it's insane like i have post-concert depression pretty easily for bts like it's just i still have post-concert depression from my metlife show back in 2019 but like i got such bad post-concert depression from yoongi's concert and I just, he did such a good job, and I loved the set list so much. I got to see some of my favorite songs ever, and I was just really, really happy with it. And I was unable to secure a lucky draw while I was there, so Elle, um, my Sunday rest, uh, helped me out and was able to secure one for me. So thank you so much to Elle. And let's store some Yoongi cards. But yeah, I didn't really get to talk about D-Day much because I haven't uploaded a video since D-Day came out. Um, but I love D-Day. Ugh, such a good album. Also, D-Day as a song is one of my, like, favorite Yugi songs now. Like, it's just so good. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do for D-Day. Because I did go to his concert, I feel like it's- it justifies my, uh, extra cards for him because, you know- Gotta get some D-Day concert rep in here. I absolutely adore these cards. I love them so much. He just looks so comfy. Oh, so cute. And this is what D-Day would look like on the back. Which you can't even see the design, but it's there. <laughs> that is it for chapter two. So we can move on to my final binder. So this is my final binder and I'm hopeful that my haul was up before this so that you can actually see this binder in its full being created and unboxed. But if not, this is my bigger G-Cook binder. So this has all my, uh, it just has a bigger ring. So I needed more space. So that's exactly what I did. So me when I lie because I thought I didn't need to go into my chapter one binder, but I do. So hi chapter one we're back for a quick sec. So I have actually a few things that I want to put in here and I don't think you see my chapter one binder since I added some things. We have this Jimin cover because I love this picture so much and just it looks so good as a cover. Um, but yeah, so that's the start of this binder. So the first thing I have is actually this little page because we have you Never Walk Alone, OT7. I have wanted to do this for the longest time. I've always wanted to collect You Never Walk Alone, OT7, and I did. Um, I had pulled Yoongi in my original album. I had Jin for a long time, 
and then I was just missing these three and then I got him um like about a year ago and then I was like I need to finish this I'm just missing two members so I did so we are going to put them in here obviously there are five of them uh, so one is gonna have to go on the back and I'm just gonna have to deal with it because <laughs> I don't know what else to do we're going to put them in a uh, fan chant order because I like the idea of having the concepts match so Namjin match and then uh, soap match as well so it would look like that which I really like I feel like some people don't realize this and this isn't like a bad thing it's just kind of funny um, because everyone's like oh it matches so well and I'm like it is two different concepts like the, like some of them are in spring day and some of them are in not today and I feel like a lot of people don't recognize that that they're in not today outfits in some of their cases uh but I love that like I like that we didn't get a full set of like one I like that we got a mix uh, for for them they did their not today outfits so it worked out for me but grape june what a time hobi yungi and then Tete, who i do have the group card but it's in my group card section so um yeah i am i'm sad to cover like their pretty signatures i just don't have any other choice but also like tay's card matches really well with the pink which is not planned but i think like he has like a little bit of pink on his nose um which could have been from the cold but he's got like a little pink nose and it matches really well with this i don't think you can actually see it on camera as well but he has this little pink little pink on his nose and it it matches the cards really well so we're gonna put him um behind jen okay there we go i should be covered enough but there's tay <laughs> I really like it and I'm happy to just have OT7. I got rid of all my other OT7 sets so I wanted to have uh, my favorite OT7 set at least. So I'm happy I did this and that's it for this. So we can move on to one more thing I need to put away. I was able to get uh, JK's Heart Hollow And he's here. So I did set it up to put all of their hollows together. So we have the hearts and the stars. And I love it. I'm so, so happy with this. This thing is so full. Literally nothing else can fit in this. But that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted a full binder for chapter one. So that, you know, it just it felt worth putting into this. We're back in action. Sorry to keep y'all waiting on this one. Let's store these super exciting cards we're gonna go to the photo book sections i have jk first because he was <laughs> i was gonna say born first but he wasn't um his photo book came out first but the more i think about it the more like now that they're complete i feel like i should put them in age order because like I don't know it just feels a little weird to have like everything else in age order except for that so let's do that actually okay alrighty so in that case Jimin is first and I do have the remaining cards for him everyone cheered like if you heard my what happened with these like I was denied an extra random card so I had to hunt these down a little harder than I would have liked because a lot of people were overpricing crown jimin um so it was just a little harder but i also love this card like i really love this one too so i'm just happy to have both so that's jimin's we'll go right on to jk's this is the back of jimin's by the way okay so for jk i was just missing one and i did get him pretty easily so there he goes and he's complete he was honestly the most painless out of the both of them which is very uncommon for me so that was kind of interesting a little vampire boy 
Okay, so now we've reached the DVD, uh, some of the bigger, bigger things that I've acquired over the past few months. But I do have Jimin's Memories 2018 DVD. Uh, and I did say I wasn't going to collect these, but I lied. So, um, also this was such a good prize. I was not going to pass it up and my friend is downsizing. So I was able to secure that from her. We do have Memories 2018 complete DVD, obviously not Blu-ray, uh, but I'm excited. I like, I like doing this. I'm happy I'm, I was able to do this. So, uh happy that this will be complete soon then we have 2019 2020 now we're at 2021 and i do have jk who also was like why was this card so hard to find tell me <laughs> he's so cute though like he's just he's just a cutie but i did get him finally so this is complete i'm so happy <laughs> 2021 is complete and we are all caught up until the next memories, which I'm really, really, really hoping for a 2022 memories just because uh, I love memories. I love collecting them and I like watching them. So I'm really hopeful for a 2022. And then we are moving on to this page. Now, I did this as like a, a DVD muster divider. But now I have two JK cards, so I got this one from Erica as well, and uh, now I'm like actually making progress on this 22920 set, <laughs> which I didn't really think I was going to do, so not sure what I'm doing with these now, but I think in the meantime I'm just going to put them on the back of these. But guys, wait till you see what I just got, and this literally just got to me today, so I was screaming, crying, shaking, like so happy that i finally have this unit ah, guys look i have wanted this unit for since i started collecting so like three years now and actually four four years oh my god four years now like i've wanted this card so badly for for so many reasons but like just look how cute they are and it's 22920 i already have this one like i just wanted to complete this so bad but i couldn't find this card anywhere usually my issue is pricing this was just hard to find like i couldn't even find it i saw this one a lot but this one was just hard to find so i did find it and they're here and i'm so happy <laughs> so now i have a complete g cook units page which is crazy um thank you g cook for having so many units together but yeah so that's complete and like what that's insane so i'm gonna keep this as my divider but it's like what do i do with these guys now because i'm not gonna start a new page for them because it's, i already know i'm gonna struggle a bit i would like to get two of jimin's and then i would be like that's it like i'm good i don't need to collect all seven so if i can get two of jimin's that would be perfect um but yeah that's that's the new update and i'm so happy um okay so then moving on to two more cards so this is actually hobie <laughs> so i have wanted this card for a really long time as well like this has been as long as i wanted this one i wanted hobies and i finally have him thank you again to l for helping me my favorite hobie card like hands down so just really really happy to have him and look how cute oh shut up if you would have told 2019 me that we have like these cards i would not have believed you like oh my gosh what a dream come true i'm so happy i i just adore them like look how good this page looks now and I also got Hobie because I just don't like Jimin's card as much, so I'd rather have a card I really wanted versus just having Jimin's for the completion purpose. So I'm really, really happy with this decision. So that is it for uh, these cards. Now, I do have one more card that isn't in this uh, binder, um, like it doesn't have a home at the moment. I know where he'll go soon. I have Jimin's Fan Meeting Volume 4 card. <laughs> I... I know I said I wasn't collecting these either, but I have such a love for this card. I love 
Okay, I'm using volume four. And quite honestly, he looks like a Hufflepuff. That's it. That good. Yeah, like, I am a big Harry Potter fan. So anytime the boys look like they belong in a house, I... I just, I love it even more. You can't tell me he isn't a little wizarding world boy. I've always wanted it and I was like, you know what? The prices for his cards specifically have dropped a lot. So it's a really good time to be collecting Jim and DVD and Blu-ray and things like that. So, and I do have his fourth muster card anyway. Um, so it, technically I completed his set. I just don't have JK's equivalents. I wanted to just show him because he deserves some love too, even if he's just going to be on display and not in this binder, which honestly, you know, some people might say being on display is better because you can see it all the time. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.